hello all the people from YouTube. Uh, so as we saw the introduction to this project that we are about to build the quantum glasses visualizer. So this is a quantum computing based app, GUI app, uh, for visualization and we have discussed in the previous video what this project is all about. In this video we will go through the installation purposes. So, so, so the first thing uh, that you need to do is install Anaconda. Uh, and there are uh, many videos uh, of how to do it on YouTube. You can just search how to install Anaconda and that's it. So the, uh, so the two uh, things uh, that you need to remember is first creating a Conda virtual environment. So what is this uh, virtual environment? See, uh, this is uh, maybe this might be your first project, but definitely you will be work you working with many projects on your system, and uh, some packages or libraries that we use demand different versions. Uh, you know, so some version may demand 3.8, some might uh, demand 3.9 version of Python, and so on. And not just with Python, you know. The libraries themselves have various versions and working with libraries all together may make just mess make it might just mess up if you you know install it all on the pc and all so what is this virtual environment uh, just think of it like a you know private facebook group only the members of the facebook group can uh, reply to posts or create posts in the Facebook group. No, none of the member who is not a part of the group can post. In a similar way, when you create this Conda environment, only the packages or libraries that you install will uh, work. None of the libraries that are not installed will, you know, it won't cause problems into a project and you will peacefully work, you can peacefully work on your project. And similarly, you can create a new environment for another project and the libraries that you install here uh, won't interfere with uh, that project. So that's the reason we create, we work in virtual environment. So on this screen, what you see here, uh, so this screen, what you can see here is uh, Visual Studio's code. VS Code, we popularly say, and it's a great editor. So we write code here, we execute it here, and you, there are various uh, IDEs that you can use when you will install anaconda you will also get spider uh, that you can use too if you're comfortable with it there is another popular you know editor uh, we have PyCharm, which is very very popular you can use that too if you like it uh, again both of these uh, are i is are very very popular you can just google or about see about it on youtube and just think about uh, which one you want to go with but I would recommend using uh, Visual Studio Code because VS Code is great it supports multiple languages so maybe after Python you think of going to some other language and Visual Studio Code it, again VS Code will help you with that again they are this uh, how to install this there are many videos about it uh, you can just go through it and I will uh, Leave, leave a link to in the description of one video that I think will cover everything on how to install Anaconda, how to install Visual Studio Code. So I think you are watching that will be sufficient for you. Now, uh, after uh, you have downloaded Anaconda Python, and know that you need to download Python 3.8, uh, 3.9 might be a little problematic with QSkit. So what is this QSkit? Let's see. So the second point that I mentioned earlier is installing of packages. So here uh, we have these two packages, QSkit and tkinter. Uh, again, uh, tkinter is very, very simple uh, to install. Uh, it won't be much of a headache. I, uh, but QSkit is the big boy of our project. So people from uh, physics, uh, you know, may, you, we may say, that, uh, that Hamiltonian is the big four H, but here uh, for our project, trust me, Tiskit is the uh, something that is uh, 
and is the main thing uh, this kit will uh, give us all the quantum uh, functions and quantum computing power that we need for our project so uh, how to install it as you can see uh, they themselves recommend to install anaconda so it works on all these uh, operating systems so how uh, so the after you have completed the installation of python 3.8 anaconda your favorite ide whatever you are using uh, just and make a folder that you want to work on this project and then open your anaconda prompt after you have opened the anaconda prompt write conda deactivate that will deactivate your uh, base virtual environment that uh, comes by default with anaconda navigate to the your directory wherever you have created that folder where you want to create the project use the command cd for uh, i'm talking about windows and uh, uh, maybe a different maybe a command maybe different uh, with respect to your operating system so you know, navigate to the directory where you have created the folder and write this uh, command conda create minus n this environment is your environment name maybe you can give it any name i gave it quanta <laughs> so yeah just write this command and the only change you need to make is python equal to 3.8 that's the only change just press cop copy this uh, command just make that one change python equal to 3.8 and uh, just press enter then on, on the next line you can write conda activate whatever your environment name is after this is done you need to do this pip install qiskit visualization because essentially we are using a visualization tool so it's better to go with this i have not tried this but i think this should work fine too this this command should work fine too but to be on the safer side you will go with this so after you have done this and again note this for the people in mac os you you have a change you have to do this command just i insert it in this uh, single inverted commas so this should install your uh, qiskit and after you have done it you have to just install tkint and for that you can just write pip install tk so you can see here we have pip install qiskit just replace this qiskit with tk and you are just done so that should be fine and after you have done that uh, i think you will be just ready to start the project so let's see so let me just make another file and show you say i'll just name it tutorial so the extension this dot pi uh, signifies that this is a python file so if you have completed the installation successfully See, this is showing me Qiskit. It means my Qiskit is very well installed. And after I run this, uh, tkinter. See, again, it's showing me tkinter. It uh, it means that I have successfully installed both of these packages, and I am all set to go ahead. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope you install it successfully. I'll watch you in the next video.